you didn't do all of your healing work to be able to fit back into the system that created the pain. I have something I want to share with you guys. It is always a huge aha moment when I share this with my truth room. So I want you to watch this video. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please click the subscribe button, the bell to receive notifications when I release new videos. And if you've been with us for a while, thank you so much and welcome back. Let's dive into this. So I was in my truth room last week. I meet every Friday. If you guys don't already know that, I tell you every week because I want y'all to join. And what we were talking about is how so often people subconsciously don't realize this. This is the biggest piece of the hurdle to get to the next level of total freedom and healing. You think you're doing all this work so I can fit in with my family that literally cast me out in the first place because of my truth. You're doing the wound work because you were wounded out of your truth to fit them and survive and belong. So why do you think getting back to your truth is going to get you to belong? Backwards. So what we do, oftentimes, I have so many people that do this every week. They're like, well, I'm so healed now. I'm excited because now they'll accept me. Now they'll get me because I get myself. I'm like, honey, the reason they cast you out in the first place is because you were seeing the truth, telling them the truth that they didn't want to take responsibility for and told you that your truth is wrong because they don't want to own what's going on. So when you come in there, guns a blazing, say, I know my truth. They'll be like, shoot, she got it, figured it out. Stop. The goal is not to heal back to myself, to fit into my traumatizing environment. The goal is to heal myself to know I don't need to, to be myself. As a child, you thought I have to be like them to fit in. What you have to understand is you have to be you to fit with you and your purpose. I've been doing a lot of purpose work with people lately because once you do a lot of this inner work, all of a sudden you're like, whoa, this job, this career path, this isn't right. I got to do a whole overhaul here. Wait, this friend group isn't right. Let me remind you guys, if you haven't seen my past videos, in 2011, when I took a deep dive into my inner work and I became a spiritual coach, it was an entire overhaul. I changed my career majorly. I was a model and an actress in Hollywood, and I shifted out of that after being in it for the majority of my life to having a whole community of spiritual friends at school that I met, that I did the deep work with. So all my friends changed at the same time my whole career changed. At the same time, I was entering an engagement. So my love life was changing and the dynamic of that and my role was shifting. It wasn't all at once. And people often ask me, was that way too traumatic? Was that way too all at once? I said, no, it was like everything was lining up correctly for me. And what's interesting is people are like, well, I'm going to be alone. A lot of times we are alone for a while because we're transitioning from old way of being to new vibration. We have to kind of give the universe some time from all the buildup of your consistent old way of being. It, you know, it's not going to shift overnight like that for a lot of people. For a lot of people, it's going to be a process of unwinding that momentum of the past. So when you see old things pop up that you think you just healed, that's the momentum shifting out. Don't forget, right? I forgot. When I was going through this, I had my first spiritual awakening when I was 16 years old. So a lot of my old trauma would come up after my awakening, which is, will be another video. And I didn't understand. I was like, am I wrong about this awakening? A lot of you guys are relating to this right now. You're not wrong. This is again about the inner work of staying internally validated until the external catches up. But when we're codependent, we're looking outside for validation that it's okay for me to own my inner truth. wrong -o. You got to own it, own it, own it, and then it shows up to mirror you. Instead of mirroring the universe, or sorry, not the universe, instead of mirroring society and your situations and your environment, you have to mirror your truth, and then society and your environment will catch up. And that's what I mean by the major shift. I had been doing inner work for a lot of years before 2011 when I made that major shift. I had been doing inner work since I had my awakening at 16. So from 16 to 30, things were shifting. 
And at 30 years old, around 30 years old, as my Saturn returns, is when I made the shift, it was an internal shift of I'm not feeling called to this anymore. I need to own my deeper work in this world. And it means I'm going to lose a lot of the egotistical hits that I would get from being validated as a model and an actress. But it meant I got to come home to myself internally and feel so deeply meaningful and connected to a deeper source of purpose. So really understanding this, really understanding that when we shift in these ways, we are upgrading, but it starts from inside out. So if you guys have questions or comments on this work, please let me know in the comments below. Please join the Truth Room if you feel called to join your brothers and sisters that are definitely soul family doing this work together in a collective. And also any of the other courses and, and, and things that I'm doing right now, those descriptions and links are below. I love you guys. Come find me on social media. Say hello. I'll see you very soon.